I woke up so late. Look at that. I was all like chilling, having my breakfast. Uh, and then halfway through my coffee, I looked at the time and I was like, oh my God. I think I found the perfect spot for filming. Did I really just say that? I want to start decorating for Christmas a little bit tomorrow. Oh, morning everyone. I woke up so late. It's currently 11.20 a.m. And the reason to that is that I've been having really bad insomnia for the past few days and was sleeping only a few hours a night. So finally, tonight I got a very nice deep sleep. But I think because I slept so heavily, my whole neck is in real pain. So I'm going to stretch it a little bit. Okay, let's get started. So first part of the day is obviously skincare and let's brush this hair. I don't always brush my hair. Like I don't brush it every day since I have short hair um, because sometimes if I spend a lot of time on styling it with a lot of mousse and things like that, then the next day it still sits really well. So I don't touch it with a hairbrush because otherwise it just collapses. But when I had long hair, I had to brush it every single day. Uh, it would get very, very, very tangled otherwise. In the morning, I don't always wash my face. Actually, most of the time I don't. Sorry, cleanse my face. I do wash my face. But just with uh, water. And I love cold, nice water to wake me up. So I was told that my skin is actually quite sensitive and because it's quite dry as well over cleansing or cleansing with things that are too harsh can actually strip it off its natural oils and protection so that's why i prefer in the morning it depends if i feel uh that i have say sweated too much at night gross i know but it's real, isn't it? If I feel like I sweated a lot at night, say in summer, I do wash my face in the morning with a cleanser. But now as the air is quite dry already because the heating's on, um, it's cold. I really don't feel like I sweat at all at night. On the contrary, I wake up and my skin feels really, really dry. So to cleanse, I'm going to use this uh, Rudolph cleansing foam. It's really nice and soft. Um, apparently the best thing for my skin type is actually a milky cleanser, which has been proving to be very difficult to find. So I'm using this one in the meantime. Let's get a bit of water. I normally use the cleansing time as a moment to massage into my skin a bit as well. Normally I'd clip my hair and I do it after this, but now I forgot. I'm sorry, such a professional. Okay. 
honestly, I love, love, love washing my hair, my hair, my face, still sleeping, I need a coffee, <laughs> my face with cold water. Evening, morning, actually in the evening in winter, I guess, a lot of the times I'm too cold, so I'll start with slightly warm water and then move towards colder water. But you should never wash your face with hot water. That's really bad. Especially, I'm, I have a slight tendency um, genetically towards rosacea. So warm water for rosacea is like the worst. We're in the kitchen. Sorry for that. That's my, uh, I can show you, that's my, um, supplements shelf wait i'm gonna show you this this is kind of it oh there's this one right there's this one <laughs> so i kind of love daniel hates me for that because he likes kind of having everything put away but i love having everything somewhere vis visible because otherwise i just never remember to take them um maybe another day we can do like a a run through, for instance, the things I take. Oh, and here's some more Corolla, and here's my collagen. Yeah, I gotta have them all out. Gonna make some coffee. make a Turkish coffee. I have a big reserve of uh, my favorite Turkish coffee, which is uh, Mehmet Efendi. And uh, you know, like, I think it's been about two years since I basically only started drinking Turkish coffee, uh, which was kind of great because I wanted to give up on my Nespresso anyways. I was using it very rarely for sustainability reasons and then when I was using it I was buying um, these biodegradable capsules which you know great for nature but I hated the taste of the coffee um, so I so I uh, yeah I got into Turkish coffee actually not got into because I have been loving Turkish coffee for many years uh, since I went back to um, since I went back to Turkey and we visited Istanbul and I was drinking so much. What is happening with my head? Oh my god! Um, when we were in Istanbul, I just fell in love with the taste. And coming from Eastern Europe, Turkish coffee is quite popular there as well. But when I was in Istanbul, I just really fell in love with it again. So I have wanted, had wanted to do it for years. And I just kept delaying it. And then I do remember I went, maybe we were in Morocco and they also do Arabic coffee. And I was like, no, that's it. I just love this type of coffee so much. I'm just gonna get a little copper, whatever this is called and uh, start making my own and uh, and yeah it's been i think two years now my relationship with turkish coffee is going excellently well but to be honest normally i would not drink coffee on an empty stomach and i used to for about a decade and my mom would always tell me off oh, because i have um stomach issues and I was always like ah whatever I just don't believe you and uh, and you know you get to that and my doctor is telling me off as well but then you get to that maturity kind of adulthood where there's nobody to tell you off anymore so you start thinking oh you know what's good in my life and what's not so I started researching it because when I was drinking coffee in my empty stomach I could feel that something really weird was happening I just my body wouldn't react nicely so I I researched it and yes it does turn out that 
coffee on an empty stomach, I think from memory, even for healthy people, is not a great idea because it really messes up your acidic balance. Um, and if you have acidity problems, stomach problems, it's a nightmare. So now I'm trying to get even Daniel to kind of give up coffee on an empty stomach. I've become my mom. Yeah, so I, 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 I went quite far away from the topic. So normally I don't drink it on an empty stomach, but today, because I wake, woke up so late, I thought I will pre-make the coffee and I will enjoy it with some jam from my grandma. There's a little bit left. And uh, some crackers. So I'll have like a... No, first crackers and at the same time coffee. So maybe I'm gonna get away with it. Maybe. When it gets a little bit cold, I cannot, and I tell you, I cannot drink even like room temperature water. My throat reacts so badly from it. I straight away I get a bad throat. And I also feel just really like, oh. So normally I love boiling the water. Look at that. Well, that I'm gonna clean. When it happens in there, it's just a lot more annoying. Okay. I talk too much, honestly. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, I meant to. Oh, my water bottles. Okay. So, water bottles. Water bottles. So I mix a little bit of boiled water with uh, room temperature water, and I'm going to have the Corolla. Just all of them because they're the last. Mm. And Luspirulina. Oh, this one's still got five bits, so this one. One, two, three. Um, the Spirulina is like six pills, and then the Chlorella is eight because they're tinier. I used to have it as a powder, but then I, uh, it was always kind of a little bit of self-inflicted torture. Um, and it was that, you know, it's that thing I'd have it. And I'm like, this is healthy, this is healthy. <laughs> but it's healthy. So I decided that why not get the compressed powder? Because the pills are literally, they're not like, pills pills they're just a compressed powder that's why I don't know if you can tell that's why as soon as you touch them they all like start collapsing um, and you depending on which one you take and how big they are you just might need to take more of them which I don't find that as a problem but much better than the powder because the powder was quite disgusting to be honest uh, it's fine if you add it in smoothies and stuff like that but to take Daniel's coffee. Daniel? Oh, you're here. I brought your coffee. I'm vlogging, by the way, so don't be inappropriate. Vlogging? I brought your coffee. Thank you. I saw you coming in, so I went to sneak around. I, I know. I saw that. Work. I saw that. You could have still scared me. Because <laughs> uh, Daniel has two doors to his office. One is through the living room and one is through the hallway. <laughs> okay, so I was all like chilling, having my breakfast. Uh, and then halfway through my coffee, I looked at the time and I was like, oh my God, Shit, I forgot. I need to, to go print out two labels um, for pickups. And uh, the courier is coming in like 20 minutes because I don't have a printer at home. And uh, they couldn't pick it up yesterday because they promised that they would print it out themselves and bring it. And then they called me and they said they can't do it due to COVID. So uh, luckily uh, in Milan, the lockdown is very bizarre because it's sort of like a full lockdown technically like we had in spring uh, a full lockdown you're technically not allowed to leave the house 
except for emergencies. But then hairstylists are open, printer places are open. I didn't think they were, but it turns out they are. And, uh, and everyone is out in the streets. Oh yeah, and then cafes, restaurants are closed, but they're open for pickup. Uh, so people are going in to like pick up their coffee, which is obviously not an emergency, just like doing your hair is not an emergency. So yeah, the situation is a bit bizarre and this light is really weird what's happening. The light today is divine. Okay, I got to do some admin, emailing, etc. work. So I will see you soon. Having a really fast snack before we head out for a walk and to check some Christmas cards. Um, I'm having cereal, specifically fitness, which is not so fitness, um, as it's still got quite a bit of sugar. But since my sister stayed with us this summer, I have remembered my cereal obsession. I haven't had cereal in years and I have literally become obsessed again. And I it's the fitness one because I like that it's got a bit of a, like a very neutral, I don't like sugary cereal uh, with rice milk. So just having a bit of that. Mm -hmm. And today on how much black and how much leather can Doina possibly wear? Now we're done. <laughs> this is better. But, you know, let's be real. I've got a pop of color right here. And right here. On our way to the cute little bookstore that we saw, we're selling uh, Christmas postcards, Christmas cards. Because well, here's a weird thing, in Milan, Christmas is not really a big thing. So coming from London, <laughs> where, you know, like October, do they start selling Christmas stuff? September. September. September, you can buy your tree, your Christmas cards. Yeah, I mean, you London. Start getting pigs in blankets. And then here, it's, it's, it's not really that big it's of invisible. a thing. So even for decorations, Stores will sell a few decorations, but not much. Some of the furniture stores fully turn into Christmas places. So one of our favorite ones here. Um, it's quite a big store and it literally turns into a Christmas wonderland. And that's amazing. And they have beautiful decorations. But we haven't seen any Christmas cards. So no, we want to send... Yeah, even, even Sainsbury's or Tesco, you can find them in England. Uh, yeah, here we are. We found some Christmas cards. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> and they're actually really pretty. <laughs> Not cheap, I swear, in the UK. And I know that, you know, a lot of them are mass produced. I think actually the kind of artisan handmade ones in the UK are much more expensive. They're like five quid. But, um, no, that one was pricey, four fifty. But you can buy those really nice packs from again Sainsbury's, Waitrose, and uh, they're really cheap from memory. They end up being like I don't know thirty p a card because I think you can get like five, uh, like twenty for five or something like that. But they're pretty. Back home, and I bought some. Salmon to cook. Haven't had fish in a few days. So this is what it looks like. Not sure if you can see this. And I will also pour the rest of the teriyaki on top. Another thing that I love doing with salmon is actually covering it in oil, which I know that a lot of people think is unnecessary because it's so oily but I actually find that it keeps it really like nice and um, soft inside and kind of keeps its own oils in place because you I guess I don't know if it's a scientific thing but 
to my mind when I don't use oil it ends up very dry and you don't have much of the natural oils of the fish which obviously you want because it's very healthy so I do that and I'm gonna put some herbs on top as well some black pepper and I feel like paprika so do a bit of that as well Off we go! Uh, I also think I'm going to add some veggies later in. I'll probably add some broccoli and some peas. I'm trying to accept myself the goal. It's so easy to eat vegetables in summer, but it's I find it's quite hard to do that in colder periods because you just want kind of, I don't know, like pizzas and pastas that are warm. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. But I've been trying to accept myself the goal to kind of watch my vegetables intake every single day. So I try to basically add veggies to everything. If I have an omelet in the morning, I'll throw some veggies into the side or even inside. Um, if I have, I don't know, anything for lunch, if I have say some grains or even something unhealthier, I try to have some veggies on the side, even if it's just cucumbers. I think I found the perfect spot for filming. I hang it on this little hook that I have for uh, the cutting boards and it's actually perfect. So what I'm going to do is I will put the rest of the salmon in here to marinate it and then we can have that tomorrow. It's been 10 minutes, so I've added frozen broccoli, frozen asparagus, feta, and some basil on top. And I'll put this in for another 15 minutes. This looks so good. <laughs> I'm really excited. This was so good. Sorry, I just need a minute to processed how delicious it was healthy foods can be healthy did I really just say that healthy foods can be tasty I obviously meant to say healthy foods can be healthy oh god I don't know that I actually had a good sleep last night finished siding the living room I mean sort of this situation obviously needs fixing um, oh, that was my finger normally I have this on here but in a slightly nicer manner maybe I need to move it a bit again and I just need to get rid of uh, the mat even though I really like having it out because Whenever I walk past it, I remember to work out. So, but I'm, I have a, a fitting in the morning at home, so I, I do need to get rid of it. Evening from my bed, everyone. I have got my um, boiled water with just lemon, basically. So I can't really call it a tea, 
But this is the end of my day and the end of my first vlog. At least first new series of vlogs. I've never done like an at home vlog, so I guess you could call it first vlog. I'm going to entitle it first vlog number one. So please, um, wait, what am I meant to say? Um, please subscribe and please leave me a thumbs up. Okay, this was really silly. Please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, and I will see you again tomorrow. I am really, really hopeful. You have to encourage me though. Like keep harassing me with making everyday vlogs. I'll try to at least make them. I'll try to keep it every day. I can't guarantee. Anyways, I talk too much. Good night and I will see you again tomorrow.